Hey guys, so we're doing some maintenance on our Caterpillar 303 excavator. We're going to be doing a full hydraulic fluid change. So we're going to be um, draining it completely and then refilling it. So in order to do that, you want the boom in this configuration. So you want to retract as much of these as you can, as much of the cylinder as you can. So in this case, that's the bucket curled all the way uh, back. And that's this arm curled all the way forward. And then this arm is down as far as you can go without putting pressure on it. That will back feed the majority of the hydraulic fluid into this reservoir. You open up that cap, you clean it, open it up, that'll relieve the pressure. And then you can remove it or leave it just kind of there with the pressure removed. These this lid here is where your um, filter element is. We are going to replace that as well. But simply to drain the fluid, you will claw, crawl underneath the machine. And this is going to be nearly impossible to video. But we're going to try at least to show it to you. I probably won't show it to you again, but underneath here, okay. You've got, if you look straight up in the back, it's not the tubes, it's not the, you can see it, it's right there. That right there is your drain for the hydraulic filter, or the hydraulic tank. So you open that up, and then it will drain out, and it's got a spot cut. So what I'm going to do is, bear with me, I am going to, I have a, for my tractor I use a tote like that, I am going to put that underneath it. So that is how you get to that. At least that's the way I found to get to that. I, I, I thought it was back up on this corner which is why the panels are removed. It's not. Uh, you can actually get to it without removing the panels, but I'm just overall cleaning the machine. So this machine probably hasn't seen maintenance in the 1500 hours it's been ran. So that is where you, that is where you do it. I'm going to drain it and then I'll uh, provide some more footage. If you PayPal me $5, I will tell you what size that drain plug is. So you don't have to keep coming in and out of the unfamiliar machine. I'm just kidding. So one inch, my drain plug is one inches. I'm gonna go get a one inch socket from my garage and uh, and I think I can get a socket on it. Okay, so you can see the fluid is pouring out. And I'm using a tote. I was able to reach up there with a half inch drive, about a 14 inches worth of extensions, I would say. And, uh, we're gonna hope like hell that we're not over gonna overflow that thing and start to get up there. It's starting to make me really nervous. But it should, it's only 10 gallons. Here is the uh, uh, drain plug with the O-ring. O-ring still looks good. And then the other thing is, is I actually had to take the cap a little bit off because it was airlocked, I believe. It started flowing more. I had it disconnected, but on there, I actually had to pop it off more. We're starting to, uh, that's good. So we're not gonna fill that up. That's a good thing. We'll let that keep on going. We have uh, taken our old filter out. So this spring comes off and then this little mechanism comes off and the filter sets down in there. That spring keeps tension on the door. I re we replace this o-ring around here you want to make sure you replace that and then we're going to put this door back on here and we're going to start bolting that down we've got that tightened back up i just went across the street so this one this one this one this one this one i'm sorry this one this one this one this one this one this one i just jumped across the street and tried to tighten them evenly and uh we got that new filter in there no o-ring in there and uh, we're just waiting on uh, it to kind of trickle empty we've got five gallon pails 
haven't figured out quite how I'm gonna get them in there yet. So the next thing we're gonna do is take off this lid that we used for the, the filler, and then we're gonna take this spring out. You wanna take that out first so you don't fall out. And then pull this up. It's really stiff, pull it up. You'll have to wiggle it out of the tank. There's a screen on the bottom of it. And what you wanna do is you wanna rinse um, the screen off with new hydraulic fluid and then put it back in there. And then you put the, sc the screen back on and then uh, tighten the bolts back down. We've got that put back on. You need to inspect the O-ring on the bottom of that just to be sure that it's fine. Ours was, so we reused it. Now we're gonna be refilling. System capacity for this is 7.8 gallons. Um, obviously we don't know that we got it all out and we don't know exactly what it takes to fill them. So. We're going to start with about mm, six gallons. I'm going to see where it's at on this looking glass. And then I'm going to start the machine up, and put it in a position where it's supposed to be in, uh, in order to check the um, fluid level. And then we'll add from there. So we're going to be, I don't have a pump. I wish I had a pump for those uh, pails. We're going to probably be using this handy dandy pitcher that I'm sure most anyone has. I'm going to measure what that goes in this. This is fully dry. No water in it. I quadruple check that. It's a big problem. You don't want water. Seven and a half gallons. That's what that's at. Now, it calls for 7.8 US gallons on a system change. Where that's got us right now is, is above the third mark. But I was doing some research, and there's a certain configuration you need the booms in order to check the fluid level. So I'm going to start this up. I'm going to put the booms in the orientation that it wants it in. And then we're going to check the fluid again. Okay, so <clears throat> I went back and printed out the manual for the Caterpillar 303. And it actually wants you to have the boom in this configuration to check the fluid. Dipper stick all the way extended, bucket all the way curled back, rested on the ground. That's the configuration it wants you to do it in. It wants you to be between, it wants you to be between mark A, which is the lower mark, and mark B, which is a higher mark. That's according to the actual page uh, for this. And we are just below that. I'm gonna leave it there. It's probably a little teeny bit high, but also keep in mind that we are fully extended and I also have a hydraulic leak on the blade cylinder which can be replaced so I'm going to lose a little bit of fluid between the time I replaced that and now so I'm not going to worry about pulling any out we're going to leave it like that because I'm going to leak some fluid between now and two weeks when I can have the time to replace that uh, the seal on that cylinder so <clears throat> we're going to leave it a little high so that concludes our hydraulic fluid change, uh, changing the hydraulic filter as well on our Caterpillar 303. Definitely like and subscribe. We'll be bringing more videos of things we do around the farm. Thanks.